to are you Jesus? Matthew 1 and 18 will tell you Christ is going to be born in Babylon. So right now we're in Babylon. Bro. That's, Babylon is a council. Babylon is not a place. So it's never been. <laughs> <Where is God? laughs> what y'all follow this man though? The Messiah, Messianic figure, will come out of Bethlehem and Frata. But you said earlier it was Babylon. Bethlehem is the first place of God. That's where I come from. I come from Bethlehem. You was born in Bethlehem? Yeah, that's where I come from, the birthplace of God. That's not on the map. You know the Romans put Bethlehem on the map, huh? Just like they put Israel in the Middle East. Don't you know the Romans, the Romans did that? Y'all don't know that? They don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know these things. No, I was just in Bethlehem. You wasn't there. <laughs>
Christ will give us rest, so that means Christ is going to give us rest? Well, if you read the next verse, it's going to tell you. No, not the next verse, the first one read. Yes, it's why, that's why I say, let no man therefore judge you. Let no man, so you can't tell nobody to keep the Sabbath day and say they're no, wrong. No, 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 that's not what it's talking about. What it's talking about is let no man judge Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. You know how we keep the lunar Sabbath and some people keep Friday sundown or Saturday sundown? That's what it's talking about, let no man judge you. Other people keep the Sabbath day different from us. We don't get on them people for keeping a different Sabbath day. We don't judge them. Just like how our Passover is right now, mm -hmm. next month is going to be a whole bunch of people Passover, right? We're not judging that. They're keeping it. So that's what we're talking about. Keep on. Verse 17, which are a shadow of things to come. Meaning this happening right now, right? Go ahead. But the body is of a Mashiach. But all of us is a part of Christ. Whether it's other Israelite camps like the IUIC, they're the same as Sakari. We're all the same body. The body of Yahweh. So Christ is the head, right, of the body, right? Yes. So do you supposed to be disconnected to your head or are you supposed to be connected to your head? We are connected to the head. So how, how are you connected to Christ? Because Christ is the leader. That's the rock. That's who we build this foundation off of. This is our faith. So if you so all your information come from Christ or it come from the Bible? It comes from the Bible. But isn't Christ the Bible? No. Christ Christ, Christ is not the word of God? The Word is not the Bible. Hold on, is Christ the Word of God? Yeah, Christ is the Word, correct. He's the Word of God made flesh, right? Make, say it one more time. He's the Word of God made flesh, right? Yeah, correct. So he, is He the Bible? No, He's made flesh. Christ is flesh. The book so what not... Word is made flesh? Christ. The Spirit. The, that's no, why. What, what Word is made flesh? Christ. What, the words, who words? Deuteronomy no, who words is made God flesh? Words. And where do we find those words? And where do we find it? In the, in the mouth of, of the prophet. We don't find it in the Bible? Malachi, that's why Malachi 2 and 7 says, you should go to the mouth to get the law. It don't say go through the book to get the law. That's why the law is a shadow of things to come. No. Hold, hold up, so brother man, because this is what you just read. Hold up, hold up, let me slow down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, because no, you just no, because Christ is the word made flesh, right? God's word made flesh, right? Yes. Where do we find God's word at? In the vessel. In the, in the vessel that God put it in. It's not in the Bible. No, that's the will. The Bible is the will that Christ comes to fulfill. So the Bible is not the word of God? No. It's the will of God. It's the oh, okay, okay. So no, y'all hear him, right? Let me say this. We read it out of the book, right? But he's saying it doesn't matter. But hey, we're just going to cut through all the malarkey. Are you Jesus Christ? Are you Jesus Christ? Yes, are you Jesus? Matthew 1 and 18 will tell you Christ is going to be born in Babylon. So right now we're in Babylon, right? Are you Jesus Christ? No, 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 he said 18. Matthew 1 and 17. Alright, 1 and 17. Nah, 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 hey, now read it slow now. Don't read it fast. Read it slow. Matthew 1 and 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. Uh -huh. And from David unto the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ. Are 14, 14 generations. So Who was carrying the Babylon? The Israelites. The Israelites. Us, right? Yes. Yeah. So where Christ coming from? The people that was carried. Christ gonna come from where the people was carried away at. Cause Christ come from the but seed that's of David. Babylon. Huh? It's 14 generations. That's ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon? Yes. Right. Where did Daniel go? Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, where did Daniel go? Where did Daniel go? Did he go to ancient Babylon? Hey, hold up. For one thing, this is what you don't understand. These are allegory writings about us. Okay, okay. No, did Daniel go to Babylon? No, that's... Babylon is a council. Babylon is not a place. So it's never... So are you Jesus? Matthew 1 and 18 will tell you Christ going to be born in Babylon. So right now we're in Babylon. So are you Jesus? Matthew 1 and 18 will tell you Christ going to be born in Babylon. So right now we're in Babylon, right? So are you Jesus Christ? No, no, no. I'm I'm I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. No, that's... Babylon is a council. Babylon is not a place. So it's never... It's not an ancient Babylon. Wow. He just, he just made it a no, place. No, it's not. Right? Hold, 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 hold up, hold up, no, no, no. no. The ancient, because this is where the council is. Right. Which one is it though? Hold up. Do you know what a noun? Hold up, slow down. You know what a noun means? You know what a noun means? Uh, they taught you that I was in school. A noun is a person, a place, and a thing, right? So, you, so you got, or, or, so you got prophets of what? Prophets of Babylon. So this is the council. So this is set up. This is set up in America. That's why you have so mystery. It's called mystery Babylon. Go ahead. Right. So 
<laughs> right here, when it says, it says in Matthew 17, you said this Babylon is America. Is that what you agree with? No, that Babylon is end time prophecy. Right. Yes, the council that y'all are part of. Yeah. So now. No, right. ba Babylon is, is more than America. Wait, so what is it? What is it? What is it? It's a person, it's a place, and it's a thing. That's why you have prophets so of Babylon. What is, so what is it's the a place? false council. It's a wait, false council. But what is the place, though? Because I'm going to read this again. Hold, hold, hold up, y'all. I'm going to read this again. Matthew 1 and 17. So all the generations from Abraham to, to David are 14 generations, and from David unto the carrying away into Babylon. Babylon. Into Babylon. That's a place. So where is that Babylon here or is that ancient Babylon? Which one is it? Where the prophets at teaching the lies. I know. Okay, but let me ask, but who's carried away? Was Peter, was Peter, John, Mark, Luke carried away 2,000 years ago? So Christ will be coming from people who was carried away. All right, you, know, you don't see that? Right. You don't see that? This is Micah chapter 5, verse uh, 2. Right. Behold thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, thou art, uh, Ephrata, thou, Thou that be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel. It says the, the ruler or the Messiah, Messianic figure, will come out of Bethlehem Ephrata. But you said earlier it was Babylon. Bethlehem is the birthplace of God. That's where I come from. I come from Bethlehem. You was born in Bethlehem? Yeah, that's where I come from, the birthplace of God. That's not on the map. You know the Romans put Bethlehem on the map, huh? Just like they put Israel in the Middle East. Don't you know the Romans, the Romans did that? Y'all don't know that? Y'all don't know the Romans put this on the map? They don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't, don't know these things. Yo, I was just in Bethlehem. You wasn't there. <laughs> That, 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 that's okay, real, hey, that's okay, real hold fun. On, hold on, hold on, that's hold on, real fun. I, I travel there all the time. That's hey, real hey, cute. Hey, real cute. Hey, 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 real cute. Hold up, hold up. Y'all, y'all change the subject. No, no, no. Is, is, no, is, is he supposed to be born in Bethlehem, Ephrata, or is he supposed to be born in Babylon? Woo! You gotta understand what Babylon and what Bethlehem is. These are mind frames. It's like Jerusalem, the new, where does New Jerusalem come from? The New Jerusalem? Yeah, where does it come from? It's the, it's the thing. But what, where does it come from though? What you mean, where does it come from? It's like the New Jerusalem coming down from heaven, right? It's dealing with salvation, yeah. But it's, so how, what, is, is the city gonna come down from the sky? It's dealing with the people. Okay, so uh, say it again. It's dealing with the okay, so when you say Bethlehem, it's not, so Bethlehem is the people. It's a mind frame that Christ come from. It's the birth. It's the birthplace of God. Christ is the Son of Man that's born by the Spirit. Christ it's is not a, a baby in the manger. So hold on. So is Babylon and Bethlehem the same thing? No, ba Babylon would be the lies. Bethlehem would be the truth. The, okay, put like Babylon. So, Babylon would be the so bread. So which place was he born at? Bethlehem. Christ come with the bread from heaven. Babylon would be the bread we eat. That's why you have prophets of Baal. They prophesize by what? Baal. You have it all through the book. Those are prophets that tell lies. It's, it's, it's that simple. These are allegories. Show, okay, show that to Bob. Yeah, show us that. Okay. Yeah, show that to Bob. Show Here read Galatians. That's, I think that's 4 and 21. Galatians 4 and 21. I'm talking about Babylon. You said Babylon and Babylon. That's yeah, why, show us the allegory of Well, that's Bethlehem. why it's written. You search the scriptures and in them you think you have eternal life. Those scriptures testify of me coming to you, speaking to you. No, it's not talking about Christ. That's right. Show that to well, Show us the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 15. Yeah. Yeah. Because ye have said, the Lord has raised us up prophets in Babylon. Can you read? What does that mean? Can you explain what it means? No, hey, can you read the next verse and I'll explain. Know that thus saith the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and upon and of all the people that dwelleth in this city and of your brethren that are not going forth with you into captivity. Please elaborate. That means God ain't gonna raise prophets up up in Babylon. Matter of fact, let me let me go talk about Babylon. Trick bag. 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 Hey, hold on, hold on. Let's think about what y'all talking about right now. Y'all the ones are prophets. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. What, what verse you read? Because Jeremiah 29, verse 15 and 16. Okay. It says... Brothers, right? So, I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, 
And I will be found by you, said the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, said the Lord, and I will bring you again to the place where I caused you to be carried away, because ye have said, the Lord have raised up prophets for us in Babylon. Says the so can you explain what that means? Yeah, right. Well, yeah, yeah. no, but, but this verse is talking about false prophets. That mean God ain't gonna raise prophets up up in Babylon. That mean God ain't gonna raise prophets up up in Babylon. But well, no, but, but this verse is talking about false prophets. <laughs> That's why I wanted you to keep reading. Hold up, let me let me let me find it. Know that thus says the Lord, the king that sitteth upon the throne of David, and all the people that dwell in this city. Your brother are not going to walk into their own house. Come on, Jesus. 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 Come Break, no, brother, we're mean. asking you what it means. Tell us this what it means. This is a continued conversation. That's why I want you to keep reading. This is not a, just a scripture. And, and we kept on reading, and you still have not elaborated, brother. Okay. Tell us what it means. Because they have not hearkened to my word, said the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servant, the prophet. Rising up early and sending them. You the word made flesh, man. What it means? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Jeremiah prophesizing about us going into captivity. And Jeremiah was prophesizing against who? The false prophets that was among the people. Because they was listening to the false prophets, they was rejecting Jeremiah. So that's what this verse is talking about. If you know the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah was rejected, and they were listening to the false prophets. That's what this verse is talking about. That's why we went back into captivity. That ain't got nothing to do with the verse you're trying to call. They don't have nothing. nothing to do with the verse either. Right, you, uh, the, the question is, I mean the answer is you don't have the answer, right? So let's go back to Babylon, let's go back to Babylon. Break, break, break the verse down hold, hold on, he, he, he already elaborated on it. We're going back to Babylon. Hold up, no, hold up, we're going, we're going to Babylon. Cause you said Babylon is a state of mind. I want you to uh, I want you to elaborate this verse for me, right? This is Micah chapter four, verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for thou shalt for uh, now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt even go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. <laughs> there the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Right. So explain that mind. What, what, ba what Babylon is that? What Babylon is that? Heard state of mind. Have you ever heard of it? You ever heard of state of mind? No, no, break, down. break down it. It's a, it's a state of mind. Break it down. I'm just, it's just showing you. Babylon is a council, brother. So Babylon is a council. It's a state of mind. We're going to interject it in this verse. Why do you have prophets of Babylon this is, then? This is Micah 4 and 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, uh -huh. like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city. What's the city? State of mind. What? So you're going out of the you're, you're going out of a state of a mind, right? Go ahead. And thou shalt dwell in the field. What's the field? The state of mind you in. So you're going from a state of mind to a state of mind, right? Go ahead. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. Another state of mind. To another state of mind? No, oh, Babylon is the same thing. You said Babylon is the same mind. Like five times, bro. So he's he's talking about, you know, he's talking about going to Babylon. Okay, what is Egypt? What is Egypt? Okay. Right I know what you know if you're not gonna understand that's why I say don't cast your precious one but if you're not gonna if you're not gonna understand why we went back to Egypt on ships why we why we're not in the same state because what does Egypt mean no we're not running from that bro I'm not, I'm not no right no I'm still on Babylon I ain't going nowhere Explain. I'm just trying to show you what I mean so why did we get on ships and go back to Egypt because what does Egypt mean we're not doing that that's Babylon I'm, I'm talking about Babylon no you're not you're ba to okay hey Babylon and Egypt can mean the same thing. So, okay, if we went back to Egypt on ships and we in Babylon right now. Okay, hold, 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 hold up, hold up. Babylon right now? Oh my goodness. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up. It says, it says spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt in Revelation, right? In Revelation 11. Spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt. So where's the spiritual Babylon? It's all, it's all the same word. 
It's all, it's all out of worship. Just reading that verse real fast. Keep going. I'm just reading this verse real fast. If it's spiritual, thou shalt go even to Babylon. There, right. there right. shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand. No, what? The hand. Uh huh. Of thine enemies. So who is the whore of Babylon? Who is the whore of Babylon? What does that mean, though? What does this mean, though? What does this mean? It's the false counsel you're sleeping with. That's why you're a prophet of Babylon. Wow. You're sleeping with the whore. You're sleeping with the whore. That's why Babylon is a mystery. Okay, why I talk about the mystery of Babylon? You don't know what Babylon is. It's a mystery. It tell you that. So I'm giving you a mystery. That's all. So it's in there. It, it, it's a mystery. So Babylon not a mystery? Babylon not a mystery in Revelation. And y'all not out here. I want to bring this back out. We bring this back out. Babylon is not a mystery. Get this. We bring this. Yeah, I, I, I need just real fast, real fast. Right? Hell, hell no. Hell no. Hell, hell no. Hell no. Not only no, but hell no. Right? Hell no. Get, get, get Micah back again. We're gonna do this. Y'all in Babylon, we're gonna do this. Egypt, right now, each and every one. We're gonna do this. Watch this. Why are you? Read Micah four and ten again. If you don't think the book of Micah, chapter ten, chapter four, verse ten. Yeah. Get out. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion. We're like a in woman Egypt. in travail, yeah. Yeah. for now shall thou go wow. forth out of the city, yeah. and thou shalt dwell in the field, yeah. and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Yeah. There shall thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Who is the enemies? The people that teach lies. Who is Jacob's enemy? Was not Esau Jacob's enemy? I'm not asking about that. Who is the the people that teach lies. The people that teach lies. Yes, that's the so you're enemy. Gonna go, you're going to go to a place to, uh, to be under a mindset the people who teach lies. So when the Bible says go into a temple. Can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? I, I, I answered the, the, the question. You didn't answer the question. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Well, what's the, what's the, the question? What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? The question is this, right? It says, you, you break it down like we're going to go to a mindset. And then the mindset, the people who keep you in the mindset is people who teach you lies. Correct. From that point, you're getting saved from that. Correct. You're know saying this is? Yes, yes. That's what, that's what Babylon is every time we see in the scripture. Yes, that's what it is. So, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up! In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, yeah. came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, yeah. unto Jerusalem and besieged it. Hey. So, so what is that? It's a mindset. This is the book of Daniel, yeah. chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah. Yeah. The third year of the reign of Jehoiakim. Stop that. Is that a time? Is that a date and time? That's not a date and time. What is it then? Everything in the Bible is written about the appointed time. Just say, just say what I'm about. You want me to answer the question or not? What is it? No, don't, don't, don't give me a doubt of Bethlehem and Francis. You're not so, fulfilling okay. the book. So everything in the book is written about the last days and God appointed time. No, it's not. So, That's why it has a time of day right there. Read okay, hold on. So, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 1. In the, in the third year. In the what? In the third year. Of the reign of Jehoiakim. That man's dead. So that's not talking about the end times. Not try, nigga. Keep going. King of Judah came Nebuchadnezzar. Who is Nebuchadnezzar? That's what be Nebuchadnezzar represents Esau. When Nebuchadnezzar represents Esau. I mean, can I answer the question? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just yeah. going away from you. Go ahead. It's like Pharaoh firstborn, those who carry the lie. Pharaoh musicians, those will be the kings of Babylon. So, hold on. Those are parables you are reading. Where's Nebuchadnezzar in history? Do you know? You ever seen a picture of him? I know because it's a parable. That's what it's a parable. That's all. It's a parable. It's a parable. It's a parable of those who over the false counsel. First of all, this is the book of Daniel. I can't make you believe it. Chapter one and verse one. The third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah. It gives you a time and a day and a king, a, a historical figure we can look at, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna be like believing abstract facts. Every, all the, all these historians can come together and realize these are real that we can see in history. And you're gonna say, oh no, all that's a lie. Just believe me. That's stupid as hell. And the people behind you is just as dumb as you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is crazy. What's he doing? <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, yeah. came unto Jerusalem yeah. and besieged it. And, the, and besieged Jerusalem. And more, and Are we Jews? Are we Israelites? Hey, your brother. How, how, wait, are we Jews? Are we Israelites? Your brother man told me to lose it. Are we Jews or are we Israelites? We both. We both. We, yeah, we both, right? So he said they besieged Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the people. people. So, so, so what they, what they went and did it at the end? Oh, it says it right here. Verse 2. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in his hand with parts of the vessels of the house of, the house of God. Yeah. Hold on. Which he carried into the land of Shinar. Into where? Into the, the land, land of Shinar. Where are you going? To the house of his God. To their gods. So, so, where's the land of Shinar? I'm just asking. I'm just asking what? I'm gonna say this. It doesn't matter because you believe that's a mind state. Okay. So asking me that question is irrelevant okay, so, to you. So, so, so here it is. So that doesn't matter. Okay. So here it is. Historically, hold up. Historically, is Shinar a place? No, it's not a place. It's not. So when, I, so when I go on the internet and type in Shinar and see all these historic, all these historians saying this is a place and facts attesting to it, shut up. Like, just, just shut up. I, I, like, I, like, no. I, I, I can't stand that. Don't, don't do that, bro. Don't do that. We, we can have conversations. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's a black woman, bro. Right. Yeah, you know damn right. You know I'm right. I'm going to somewhere down there. It's okay. It's all right. I apologize. It's all right. I don't need to do that. But like, like I was saying, with historians, all these historians attest to Shinar being an actual place. So you're telling me I can't believe nothing. So that's just no answer that I can't believe none of that. No, here's the no. <laughs> hold up, hold up. The Bible say don't dwell on the past. I'm doing a new oh thing. Oh my god. The Bible don't say that? I clean the ass. The Bible say don't dwell on the past? <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all say y'all believe in the Bible. Yes. The Bible say don't dwell on the past. <laughs> Bible don't dwell on the past. <laughs> hey, that's, I'm just yeah. saying. Y'all want to pick and choose. The book of Christianities, chapter 3, verse 15. Read it out. I said the Bible says don't dwell on the past. Read this. That which is being is now, and that which is to be hath already been. Right. Yeah. And God requireth that which is past. Which is what? Which, which is, is past. past. I thought we were not supposed to dwell in the past. Okay, the I, I got my verse. Okay, I got my verse. I know you okay, so it says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So, what verse about salvation? Forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. Things there in captivity. So, what what it means? Don't dwell on the past. Because he's saying you know, he's going to do a new thing, which is salvation. When you get there, when we, when we get there, we're not going to be worrying about this. Right. Right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter three and verse sixteen. Yeah. Right. It says, "It shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land." In the land, yeah. in those days, yeah. saith the Lord, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord, neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. That's the explanation That's right. of that verse. Right? The salvation, salvation from Babylon the Great, America, the land, right? When we get saved from that place, we're not going to be worried about this place anymore. We're not going to call that other stuff in the mind. So, so that's what that's going to get to. How do we get salvation? Now, salvation, right? What is salvation? Let's see what Christ, the actual Messiah said. Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Yeah. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing should I do? That I may inherit eternal life. So man said, like, how do you, how, how do I inherit eternal life? Go ahead. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Yeah. There is none good but one, that is God. Yeah. But if thou wilt enter into life, yeah. keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. the commandments. So that's how we get salvation. We need okay, to keep well, the commandments. Yeah. Okay, so let me And matter of fact, the, the Messiah right here said that, but why don't you keep the commandments? Right! Is that a holy day? It's free to the holy day? No man can condemn me. Uh, why not? God committed all judgment to the sons. You're now, not the sons. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
disrespect. Hold up. Okay. That's yeah, cool. That's cool. No. Hold up. No, stop avoiding the question. Where are your hey, 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 hey. 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 I see my. I, I have mine. Price had where his. Like, but where are yours at? I don't wear fringes. Remember, Malachi, there's supposed to be healing in your wings, and the Hebrews are fringes. If you ain't got them all, how you gonna heal anybody? <laughs> Suffered for 12 years yeah. with constant bleeding, mm -hmm. came up behind him. Woo! She touched the fringe of his robe. Yeah. Touched yeah. the fringe yeah. of oh, his robe. Where are your fringes? Okay, okay, you can't okay, heal okay let me, can I say something? What? So let me say this. So, so when they took Christ's garment, was it clothes or was it apparel? That has nothing to do with this. That's absolutely nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, can I finish? 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 Hey, can who did not? Who did no sin? Yeah. Neither was God found in His mouth. That's two marks against you. Okay. No, who did one though? You did no sin. You're sinning right now, and there's God in your mouth. Right. Because right. you, you, you double talk this whole time. Right. You're not Christ. You're not our example. That's cool. Right. I'm right. I don't understand how you got people following you. It's hey, crazy I, to me. Hey, can I say this though? Right, then, hold no. on, brother. This is First John chapter three, verses four and five. Bring it yeah. out. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. Right. For sin. And ye know that Christ was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. So wait a minute. In him is no sin, but you're sinning. Okay, now, now the first commandment was what? I know. I know that's bad. The first Okay, Matthew 20. Can I finish? No way. Hey, say what you're going to say. The first commandment was worship the law of thy God. That brings you out of Egypt, right? The, the first commandment was. You ain't gonna ask me. Hey, I'm listening to you. The first commandment was bring the law. Work, have no gods before me, right? Worship the law of thy God that brings you out of Egypt, right? What are you talking about? That's the first commandment. Pull the Bible verse. So, what's the verse? BC. <laughs> Put chapter 13. Exodus. And then Exodus 20. You asking me, he's supposed to be Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking me for? How you gonna be a Messiah, but you don't know what, what, where to go in the first word? Hey, 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 you don't know the first commandment. You don't know what the first commandment is. I just told you, you the first me. commandment. Is it, is it in Exodus 20? Hey, I just told you the first commandment. No, no, no. Use the sidewalk. Exodus 20. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got my Bible, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'm in Exodus 20. It says, brother. It says, I'm in Exodus 20. I got it. It says, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou should have no other gods before me. So, who brought you out of Egypt? What are you asking? Did Yahshua bring you out of Egypt? The Lord brought us out of Egypt. Oh, 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 for real? Was it, uh, oh, y'all ain't got him out here. Y'all ain't, oh, ain't, ain't like IURC. So, did Yahshua, the one that's in the sky, bring you out of Egypt? Exodus 14. Let's that's a yes or no. Let's see what the Bible let says. Let your yay be yay and let your no be no. Actually, you don't even know what that means. Right. That's crazy. That means answer honestly. Well, right. Right. And I want you to answer honestly. Exodus Do you believe that you're out of Egypt? Hey. Do you believe? You gonna let a book talk to you? You can tell us if you're out of Egypt. Wait, wait, wait. You say, I'm gonna let a book talk. He asked me about something that happened in the past. 
So of course I'm gonna have a book. That's crazy. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, For ye not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. See the salvation of who? The salvation of the Lord. Tetragrammaton and Yahweh. Go ahead. Which he will show you to you today. Yeah. For Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. So what does that mean? I won't even I won't even pay attention. I don't pay attention. Hold up, one thing. We, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Every time, every time you, every time you ask me a question, don't I have an answer for you? No, 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 you don't. <laughs> okay, okay, so, okay, so, so, hold up, but you changed the subject. You changed the subject of what I asked. The book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. Salvation of who? Salvation, salvation of, of the Lord. Lord. What did I say right there? Stand still and see the salvation. Who brings salvation? Of who? The Lord. The Lord. Who the Lord is? Your house. He says, see the salvation of the Lord. He sent, he sends. See it. Pim -pim -pim. See it. You're dumb, right? He said, <laughs> he said, he said the salvation, salvation. Did y'all see the salvation? Hey, it's coming. You it's know there ain't no Lord. false witness. Did, did you see the salvation? Did you see Jesus heart free? That's not yes right there. That's not there. All prophets. It's dumb, right? Now give me Matthew chapter 24. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24, starting at verse 4. Bring it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Yahweh shot answered and said unto no, no. them. Start at verse three. This is Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse three. I want, yeah. I want everybody to see this right now, and this is going to show how true the Bible is, right. and how true the actual Messiah, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, is. Right. As he right. sat upon the Mount of Olives, yeah. the disciples came unto him privately, saying, yeah. "Tell us when shall these things be, mm -hmm. and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world?" The sign of thy coming, right, and the end of the world. We about to be in the end of. We, matter of fact, we're in the end of the world right yeah. now. Right. 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 Of that. Right. Watch this. And Yahweh Shai, Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let nobody deceive you. Go ahead. Yeah. For many shall come in my name. Many shall what? Yeah. Come in my name. Come in my name. Yeah. Come in my name. Yeah. I am Christ. Saying that what? I am Christ. Thinking you the Messiah. When somebody asks you about the Bible, now it's a metaphor. Right. When, think, when, it, when it's convenient for you, you are a trickster and a deceiver and a charlatan. Right. You can put to death, lest you repent. That's right. 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 Say that again. This is the book of Messiah, you're going to read it. 24 you verse 5. Yeah. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So what? Shall so deceive, deceive many. many. That's that many behind you. Right. It ain't multitudes. It ain't a lot. It's just many. <laughs> okay, it's not a lot. So can I say this? I'm going to say, call hello, Yahweh, by some of my shock, Yahweh, shy. And say, Shalom, man. Shalom. Shalom, 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 family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor to the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariyala of Sakari, and I am excited to present to you, the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase 
at HIDOfficialZion.com. Get yours today. Ooh.